Hi, welcome to the 2015 Sydney Maker Fair. It's at the Powerhouse Museum once again for the third year running, or the MAS, or the uh, Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences, as it's part of a group thing now. They're rebranded or something like that. So I thought I'd take you behind the scenes here, show setting up, because it's, uh, well, actually, I don't know what the time is because I've got my um, thermal imaging camera watch on today. So uh, what is the time? They don't get here until 10 but it's uh, now nine o'clock. So we'll go behind the scenes. People are still setting up. There's still a lot of empty tables. A lot of people haven't turned up yet. So let's go. Won't go in the front door there. Take you around the secret squirrel back entrance. Let's go. All right. And it's a beautiful day here in Sydney, by the way, as it always is. Sorry, I just have to boast, Sydney's got pretty good weather. But uh, one thing which is uh, completely baffling is I'll uh, show you. This used to be a walkway. You used to be able to walk straight off here, over there, used to be a big overbridge. That building in there, that is the um, entertainment, the Sydney Entertainment Centre, the famous Sydney Entertainment Centre, which is actually going to be demolished um, soon, apparently. And there used to be a car park. You can see it's just a uh, construction pit now. I normally park there, just walk across the bridge, bam, I'm here. But uh, no, that's all gone. Gone ski. So I had a, it was there last time I was here, I swear. So we had a real, uh, real problem last time. Uh, had a real problem actually parking this morning. This is where the electric cars uh, were for the previous two years. They're in this part, but uh, the museum, uh, the Maker Fair this year has uh, completely changed because it used to be spread all the way out through the Powerhouse Museum. But uh, now it's, uh, oh, sorry, I'll just uh, set my mic level back to manual. I think it's, yeah, that's a bit better, I think. There we go, less noise. So, uh, yeah, it used to be an overbridge. It's gone, it's gone. I miss the overbridge. Ah, oh, Sydney's changing so much. Anyway, the first year they had the fair here, there was some stuff outside here too, which was awesome. But um, it's, it's all in the one big room. Give me a thumbs up, hey, it's awesome. It's all <laughs> and that's where you collect your badges. And this is a just a little kitty outdoor play area and we'll head in the back entrance so yeah it's all in one big room this time and uh, completely changed it'll change the dynamic of it the good thing the good part about it all being in one room is that you can't miss anything it's all just there Ta -da! Sydney mini maker fair and yes I do have my uh, media badge by the way there it is Wartime Innovation. There we go, they've got a new exhibit here. Nice. World War I was the catalyst for first large-scale use of technology in warfare. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might have to check that out later. Got some sort of engine. Brilliant. We'll go in uh, Willy, Wonky's, Willy Wonka's glass elevator. I love the glass elevators. I could take the uh, escalator, but uh, nah. It's much better doing it this way. Here it comes. Thank you. Yeah. Look that way. Are you going to look at the window? Look at the window. You'll be surprised what you see. You'll go through a floor. Hang on. Here we go. That way. Willy Wonka's glass elevator. Will we go through the ceiling? I don't think so. And there's the turbine hall where it was last year and the year before. Well, a good lot of it. As that was one of the central um, pubs. They've still got the planes hanging in the roof. And out we go. Yeah, it was all. Uh, they've still got the interface uh, exhibition on with, that has the um, Apple One uh, computer in it, as I showed uh, last time. But yeah, there's nothing there this time because it's all here. Sorry, this has taken a while to get in, but uh, I thought I'd just take you on a wonderful tour. I've still got the train, which is awesome. And uh, the entry, there's Daniel. 
Daniel Green, Hello. the organiser. How's it going, mate? It's, it's a busy day. Busy, busy day. day. Excellent. Uh, but we're, we're doing okay. He's looking a bit stressed. Oh, no. We've just no? got to get rid of a van. Just got to get rid of a van. All right. <laughs> Good luck. And here we go. This event is being photographed. They put this up because, yeah, I'm um, the official media person and, yeah, technically people will be filmed. So um, Intel have a big thing here, all their uh, sense technology, real sense technology and all that sort of jazz. So uh, they're still busy setting up. It's completely dark in here. Sorry about that. But uh, if there's any grain on the uh, noise on the footage, but uh, you, uh, they're planning. Got to get together and plan. And here's first cab off the rank, robots and dinosaurs. There's Gav, the mechatronics guy. Everyone knows Gav. Today, he was set up like you were set up before I even got here. I was up before five o'clock this morning. I didn't realise there was five o'clock in the morning. So yeah. <laughs> right, the five o'clock. Awesome. <laughs> and some. Ooh. Not sure who they are. This is very cool. Check this out. I think this is the Uni of uh, New South. Yes. And they've got a Pac Man maze. Awesome. We'll check that out running later. We've got some uh, quadcopter and uh, tank action happening. And by the way, I uh, looked at the guide on this thing. Oh, tubes. There you go for you tube aficionados. There you go. Tube porn. All right. There's uh, lots of robot stuff, of course, but the biggest thing was um, I looked at the guide thing for it, and there's like 38 exhibitors here, and eight of them have 3D in their title. So <laughs> go figure. Not that surprising. Yes, the Electric uh, Vehicle Association, and their own boy. I love it. That is absolutely beautiful number plate. It's gold. And JCAR of uh, selling all their wares. They were already set up by the time I got here. I think it opened at like 6.30 or something for set up. So, breadboards, lead chaser. Got to have a traditional lead chaser. Yeah, we're seeing it. we saw that last time, I'm sure. It's beautiful. Look at that battery bank. That's just fantastic. Come back and get some more footage of that, I'm sure. 3D printers coming out your backside. And uh, paper. Air, advanced paper aircraft. There you go. It's things to skin the uh, microscopes. Oh, that's the uh, bio the biohack. Yes, of course. We uh, looked at the biohack last time. Code rangers. Kids coding. 3D, 3D, more 3D, more electronics. Tons of it. Little bits. They're selling little bit stuff. Nice. Um. Steam wonder lamps made out of paper. It's completely dark again. Need some lights. Yeah, I know. Where, what's going on? Well, because this is like a more arty section. Ooh, that's going to light up, right? That's right. I'm just waiting for the lighter. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was going to say because it is a brain, isn't it? It's a brain. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, and well, that's it. That is the 2015 Mini Maker Fair, because it's just a Mini. Um, but it's fantastic that it's on again at the awesome power... Oh, colour balance on my... Okay, I've got auto everything on the camera. When I go out and shoot these things, I just whack the camera, auto absolutely everything. It's just not worth it otherwise. So auto uh, exposure, auto white balance, auto focus, auto, you know, <laughs> auto everything. Usually mic level auto. But because I was carrying this around, I thought I'd uh, uh, just whack it on uh, manual. So you probably didn't hear Gav or somebody in there. But anyway, there it is. Ta-da! Behind the scenes, setting up 2015 Mini Maker Fair. Catch you next time.